You only have 10 seconds to hit the like button if you want to get the Season 9 Battle Pass for free. So hit the like button right now. Hurry, hurry. I just bought 10,000 V-Bucks on accident, so it looks like I'm going to be hooking a bunch of you guys up. Let's send some gifts. If you want to get a gift in the next video, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, comment Season 9 along with your Epic ID, and you might be featured in the next video when I send you a gift. Season 9 in Fortnite Battle Royale is almost here. We are just 48 hours away, ladies and gentlemen, and today we got the second teaser released. Yesterday we got the first one, and today we got the second one. But not only do we have those two Season 9 teasers, we also have a third one that got leaked as well that makes the entire Season 9 teaser and trailer make sense. I promise that after you're done watching this entire video, you will know everything that is happening in Season 9 and it will no longer be a mystery. I'm sure a lot of you guys have already seen it, but yesterday's teaser had the letter N in it and that was the very first teaser we got for Season 9. Today we got a new teaser that has the letter E in it, so so far we have the letters N, E, and we got another teaser that leaked that is the letter W. Now, we can't 100% say that this is the third teaser, it could be the fourth one that will release when the season actually comes out but there is a very good chance that this could be the third teaser we just don't know 100 percent but i'm going to show you guys that in just a second and i'll reveal the full word that fortnite was spelling out in their season 9 teasers but first let's talk about some stuff that is gonna be in season 9 that will be brand new and never in any season before so season 9 will be the very first season that will begin with the gifting system in the game so what that means is you will be able to gift anyone anything right from the beginning of the season i'm super hyped about this because it's gonna make it super easy to hook as many of my subscribers up with gifts as possible this is 100 confirmed i'm super excited for it because it makes my life easier and i'm sure you guys are excited for it as well so that's great news next we're going to be getting a bunch of other different custom features in Fortnite Battle Royale that we didn't already have. If you guys remember in previous seasons, they added things like back blings or wraps, all sorts of stuff. Well, in this season, we're actually going to get custom hats. That is right, ladies and gentlemen, you will be able to put different hats on your Fortnite character, which will be really, really cool. We are also going to be getting two new categories of emotes. So there's going to be the normal emotes as we know them now. And we're going to get two new categories. One being taunts. And that will be like a really funny thing to do after you just destroy an enemy player. And you can make them rage and you can taunt them via the taunt emote. So that's going to be a whole new category of emotes. And it's going to be really cool. The second new category of emotes that we're going to be getting is the the victory pose now these are going to be emotes specifically for winning a match that whenever you get a victory royale and only when you get a victory royale will you be able to use these emotes since they're going to be difficult to actually use them since you can only use them when you win a game they're probably going to be the sickest emotes we've ever seen in fortnite we're also going to be getting a bunch of new calling cards which isn't exciting at all but we are going to be able to actually customize the skin of the battle bus in fortnite which is going to be super super cool like imagine the battle bus with like the heart wrap on it you know that would be absolutely hilarious so i'm super excited to see these features in the game we're also going to be getting a new poi yesterday in the video we talked about how tilted towers is going to be revamped in a way more futuristic modern version since the season 9 theme is gonna be the future but the new poi 
that we are going to be getting is a military POI. Now, I'm going to show you some images on the screen of exactly what this is going to look like in game. I'm not sure exactly where these POIs are going to be located, but the reason we know these POIs are going to be added to the game is because the military base prefabs are in creative mode and the description of the prefabs in creative mode used to say this is the first set of buildings that will premiere in creative before battle royale and what that means is that they're putting they're testing out buildings and new stuff in creative and then bringing it to fortnite battle royale and recently that poi description changed from previewing or premiering the new POI to just saying reinforce your fort with a sleek new military style buildings. So it used to say that they're premiering it and now it doesn't mention anything about it only being in creative. So that means along with all the teasers we've seen, the skins are all looking like futuristic soldiers that we are going to be getting military based POIs along with the futuristic military theme in season nine. Now to further confirm this futuristic military season that we're going to have upcoming in season 9, I'm going to show you guys another one of the leaked teasers or the only leaked teaser that has come out over on Reddit since these teasers started to surface. Now you can see the letter W in this teaser. Now like I said earlier in the video, I'm not sure if this is going to be the third or fourth one. If it is the third teaser, that means the word will spell new, but I Obviously, we can't be 100% sure about if this is the third one or the fourth one or maybe a fifth one. But the skin looks super, super cool. All of these skins that we've been seeing in the Season 9 teasers look like they're on a totally different level from any skins we've had in Fortnite so far. The unlockable styles for these, I'm sure, is going to be insane. And all of these skins will be included in the Battle Pass. Now, if you remember, during the end of last season, the overtime challenges allowed you to unlock a free Battle Pass. Now, the reason they put that in the game was because Apex Legends just came out with their first battle pass at the time and they were stealing some of the sales from Fortnite and Fortnite wanted to keep their player base keep them playing the game so they gave away free battle pass passes to anyone who completed the overtime challenges the question is how are they gonna keep the incentive for players to keep playing the game and ranking up their battle pass without giving it away for free now the community has came together and theorized on this and we believe there will be 200 tiers maybe 150 but definitely more than 100 tiers in the season 10 battle pass let me explain so if you go to the current season 8 battle pass and look at tier 2 there is a battle star with a little xp flag on it and the description of this item reads get a head start in season 9 with a match xp boost so this will give you a 30 percent xp boost automatically at the beginning of the next season allowing you to level up your tiers way way faster than you were previously and the reason for this could be because there are way more tiers and 120% XP boost just won't be enough for a lot of players to make it all the way through the extra tiers that they could be adding. Also, if they add extra tiers, it will be extra incentive for people to buy the battle pass because if there's like 150 tiers, that's 50 more items you are going to get for free, which makes it even more worth the $10 that you're going to have to spend on. 1000 v bucks to get the battle pass season 9 will also have some pretty awesome events in store for us not only are we going to get one huge event like we get every season we're also going to be getting some smaller events for example, there's going to be an event going down with Polar Peak. They're going to be getting rid of that POI. That's why it's cracking. We also may see another unvaulting event in Fortnite because at Loot Lake, where the vault was and all of the ruins are, it's still there. Normally, after an event, wherever the event happened or wherever the main point was, will kind of be destroyed and it will be clear that that location is no longer tied to any event but for some reason the vault hasn't changed at all 
the fifth ruin is no longer activated i think the reason epic games made it this way is so they still have the ability to put a gun back into the vault like we may see with the drum gun since so many players are complaining about it and we also may see some weapons come out of the vault as well one weapon i would personally love to see return to the game because we haven't seen it literally ever for most players and that is the zapatron the zapatron was the most overpowered weapon in fortnite history i never even got a chance to use it and there's only like one gameplay on the internet of a player actually using it it was literally only in the game the day it was released i would love to see that gun, gun come back obviously anything they bring back from the vault needs to be nerfed and needs to be changed in some way to make it more fair we see that they made the mistake of not changing anything with the drum gun and look where it got us right now man it's just overpowered and it's more effective than a shotgun honestly but it is a lot of fun to use no doubt let me know down in the comments if another unvaulting event happens what are you going to be voting for would you guys go back to the drum gun and try and get that unvaulted or would you go to the bouncers or a grappler or something else do you guys regret unvaulting the drum gun at all or would you are you did, are you happy with it do you like the drum gun or do you wish it was back in the vault because there is a good chance that could actually happen but i do hope you guys did enjoy this video season 9 36 hours away at the time of making this video and i couldn't be more excited thank you so much everyone for watching i hope you guys enjoyed have a great day peace out